And there's the there's the other Gigantes, another cave. Yeah, I want to collect as many of these as possible. I really wish I could actually bring over like some of the apothecary stuff too. Between um between playthroughs. Okay. So we know where the quest is. Is this guy dangerous? Nope. Well, yes, he is dangerous. Okay, let's change this around a bit. Oh wait, okay, he does move. Shoot. Okay, good luck, tanks. I can't really afford to take damage. Too much damage here. Shoot. I'm missing. And they are down. Oh, she is down. That's okay. Come on, beef, beefy men. Men and... Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Searing steak. Increases my base damage. Does not do anything else. Okay. Yeah, so she's back up. Luckily, this giant's AI is... Kind of hot garbage. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... You guys wanna... You guys wanna fight this guy, or am I on my own in this one? Because I would like to kill him. Ah! What?! Alright, I mean, it's not a long walk back, but... <sighs> okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be fighting this guy. I'm doing it anyway. Did I really have 75? I guess I did. Alright, well, they're all passed out over here, so let's, let's go get them. Let's try that again. I mean... Luckily, I don't think that Gigantes uh, recovers any health. Wait, there's a random Golden Drachy here. Okay, I gotta fight that. We got Drachy Butter. We figured out how to make ice cream. We figured out how to make hearty cream cake. Pile of pancakes, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, so we need we need pancakes for the other uh, for the other gigantes. I don't know how you're supposed to speed run these chapters. I guess if you totally ignore the like adventure and collection aspects to this, you could do it. But I don't, I don't see the point. I hate I hate it when there's just like a random challenge that's just not worth doing. Okay, what's this sign say? Seeing as that bunny is non-threatening. Follow the valley north to the frozen lake. Gotcha. Alright, let's see how the Gigantes is doing. Retrieve my junk. It has been retrieved. Uh, I remember having to fight Gigantes in the past. Oh my god, he's not even hurt. There's got to be a way to fight him. Yeah, he's like a little injured. Maybe when we... Yeah, okay, so there's a, a secondary... There's the stomp. And then there's the secondary attack. Afterwards. Okay, come on, meat squad. We'll do that. We'll do that later. I don't even. I don't even know how we're gonna do that later. But there's no way we're doing this now. Let's just go into the cave. Maybe I can uh, surrender him in uh, obsidian. Maybe I can like destroy the terrain around him. I'm not. I'm not really sure. This is different.
So. What am I supposed to do in here? Unless we're supposed to cannon it. Or... Yeah, I have no idea. This is weird and confusing. Because we've got a whole area behind with the door. What if... Did that do it? No. And I can't break these. Then what am I supposed to do? Apart from come back later, I guess. Wait, unless... Maybe I can't solve it. But I can definitely cheese it. Okay, so we, we have cheesed it. But for what purpose? What lies beneath? Beyond? What's in here? Is there anything? I don't know. My TV is also kind of dark right now. I've always streamed this game uh, at nighttime. And it's one of those where, uh, it's not night right now, and the glare on my TV is more than enough to make this a little bit inconvenient. What the sh... I feel like... I'm in this big complex that I'm supposed to be doing a quest for. Oh, we found it. Shoot. There is a... There is a challenge here. Wait, oh nope, that's just one of the one of the burly dudes. Crap. Because we dropped down that hole, I don't even know where I don't even know where the exit is. There's some pots here. And we got rocks, we got pots. Is this story based? Did I did I screw up? And the worst part is we're we're stuck in here. Not only that, but we are in fact missing one of the muscle men. Okay. I guess let's get the ice and warp out of here. Worst comes to worst, I retrieve him at a later date. Cause I don't I don't get it. Whatever this place is, it's not something I can do right now. Which sucks. We got our first lump of mithril. Okay, so there's the there's the Gigantes. We don't want anything to do with him for at least a little while. We're down to two. Please don't force me to stage a rescue off for that guy, though. That is going to be wildly inconvenient. All of this seems like it's going to be wildly inconvenient and not so great. Well, uh, I'll find out shortly. Anyway, is this the... this looks like the frozen lake.
Okay, so we've got the ice. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna wing back. It's dark, and we're not we're not uh we're not having a great time here. I think I got more than enough ice from that. Yeah, I got twenty two. Okay, please tell me Burley made it back. He did not. Oh, wait, no, that's not Burley. It's probably, uh, whatever, Gluteus? Glutimus? Might be. Anyway, this place is amazing, dude. I've never seen a town like this before. There are so many people here, and they're all so wonderfully Burley. Pardon? You wonder why those horrible robots were trying to get me? Oh, no, it wasn't me they wanted. Uh, but my most precious possession, this pretty little key. Which door does it unlock? I have the faintest idea, I'm afraid. You see, it really isn't mine. I found it lying in the snow. It looked ever so shiny and ever so pretty, so I just had to take it with me. It's been my most precious possession ever since. <laughs> By that greedy look in your eyes, it seems like you like it too. Sorry, dude, but you can't have it. It's mine. So we've rescued Cecile. Nice one, dude. That ice is exactly what I'm after. It's just what we needed to build Galileo's flame fight and invention and stop those rotters stealing his secret. What's that? You want to know what the secret is? All right, I'll tell you. He was working on a way to confine fire and ice, a way to harness the power of the elements and turn it against the monsters. I was just helping him out, so I don't know how it works exactly, but it looks like the monsters want to get their grubby hands on that power so they can use it against us. Never mind that now, though. First things first, we've got to build ourselves some f flame killing machines. What do you reckon, dude? Think he can come up with some combination of ice and iron? What'll snuff them prancing blighters out? And she hands us some lava, question mark. And we figured out how to make a crack shot. A blistering bullet imbued with polar power inflicts damage on enemies. Sid shot does the same thing. All right, dude. Have you built any of those ice missile thingies you dreamt up yet? We can use them to take down those dancing flames, which will bring us another step closer to beating the Magmalis. Let me tell you something, dude. According to Galileo's report, when you freeze a dancing flame, it leaves behind a flame orb. And those orbs are exactly what we need to build an even more powerful weapon. So, that's what you gotta do, dude. Build a load of them crack shots and fire them at the dancing flames. You know where to find them, right? They got around, uh, around the front of that castle the monsters locked me up in. Go over there and kick some, kick up a ruckus and bring me back five flame orbs, why don't you? Okay, well, for starters, let's build as many of these as we can, seeing as we're a little bit limited there. Bunch of healing creams, bunch of chimera wings. Can't make any of those, but that's okay. Nothing here, nothing here, okay. Let's see. Doesn't look like we have any new equipment to make there. So Sis shot. I was expecting I'd have to I'd be building these with a um I was expecting I'd be building these with like a gun or something. But it looks like that's not the case. We've also got the minecarts, but honestly, like I've yet to find a use for them apart from having them, I guess. Fierce fountain. Yeah, we can't make those even if I wanted to. Okay, so let's store all of our junk. We don't need the flooring. We don't need most of this. Yeah, so I just I just use it, I guess. Weird. Anyway, let's make some pancakes. And let's see what food they've cooked up for me. The answer is not a whole heck of a lot. I'll load up on food. Let's see. I guess I'd like to get rid of these grasses. They're not exactly uh, where I want them to be. Okay, magic door. Question, is it... Okay, it's standard size. I was really hoping the magic door would be... I was really hoping the magic door would actually be like the, the three wide one, but it's not. Okay. Well, we've got mithril, but I don't have anything I can do with that. Uh, I guess let's go talk to the other 
Let's let's go talk to this guy, Baird. Thank you, dude. Thank you. You have saved Cecile, my dearly beloved bride to be. We were traveling through Gallenholm when a terrible snowstorm stirred up. I took her hand in mine so that we might not get separated. Just imagine my surprise when the snow abated and I found myself hand in paw with the Pau Yowie. Oh, my heart, my bride to be, how I am glad to see you again. I beg your pardon? Cecile told you they were friends and nothing more? Haha, <laughs> my dear dude, do you know nothing of the fair sex? Mere feminine modesty, I assure you. Uh, 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 uh. Um, anyway, but I thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing my bride to be. Living among these blunt and boorish musclemen will no doubt be an affront to her ladylike sensibilities. But be assured that I shall defend her from those rogues to my very last breath. Okay, and we get a seat of life, which I always need more of. And you know what? Uh, we actually do need to build something before I go too far here. We really need some beds. Looks like the trees are good and grown. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grow a small little forest out out here. We've got a we've got a ton of these saplings, and we might as well make the most out of them, seeing as wood is kind of a severe limitation here. Okay, let's let's try something. Let's let's see if we can um, pack them tighter than we have. Because if we're lucky, we can, uh, we can pack them in here, and this will work. No guarantees, but it might. Alright, so it's a little bit uneven, but that'll be okay. Anyway, now, now we've got a crap ton of wood. So, if I'm not mistaken, assuming we turn it all over... We can make a couple of king-size beds. I guess we might as well make, uh... We might as well make three of them. Can't do anything there, right? Yeah, okay. And I'm, uh, I, I really should uh, turn this into an inn at some point. But that's for later. There we go. Yeah, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna mess with this. It doesn't look like it's a two-person bed, but honestly, I'm not entirely sure if we even have a two-person bed here. Okay, so if I want to go get, um, if I want to go get glutamus, I'm pretty much I'm gonna have to go go at it alone. Well, that's okay. Uh, we wanna we wanna go rescue glutamus, and we also wanna go give this guy some pancakes. See if I can I can find him. He's around here somewhere. I think he's gonna be over on the right. Yeah, we are gonna have to worry about enemies, though. It's kind of pre expecting that I'd have a battle crowd with me. Oh, here we go. Right. Let's try Sizz shot on this guy. Nothing. Crack shot. Nothing. I really wish I could Dragon Warrior monsters this. I really need some stronger weaponry. Because, yeah, I don't want to bring the idiot patrol with me into that dungeon again. Because I don't even know my way around. And it'd be pretty bad if I screwed up. Anyway. Yum, yum. Talk. Mmm. What is this soft and fluffy thing? Pancake. Sound tasty. Smell tasty. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yum, yum, yum. So soft, so fluffy. Human so strong. Human so kind. Gigantes give you this, my treasure. All my friend make fun of me for wearing. Gigantes wear ring. Gigantes look stupid. Gigantes look like girl gigantes. But Gigantes is girl gigantes. And we got the ring of criticality. Hell yeah, that thing is stupid powerful from what I've heard. Okay, so let's take this off. Awakening, not super useful. Rubies of protection. Oh. Wow, that is actually kind of incredibly useful. Well, we'll leave that for later. Anyway, so now we've got the Ring of Criticality, which means 
I have a decent chance of critting enemies for stupid damage. Assuming we can hit them. I really have to be up in this guy's hitbox. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. It would be nice if the uh, the dudes would teleport to me. Seeing as they kind of have troubles. Uh, navigating the environment normally. Okay, so I kind of want to stay away from combat, if at all possible. I'm only one man and you're supposed to have friends for this. But I don't. I'm also supposed to have better equipment. Uh, get some more me mithril and we might be in business. Though, I think we need to upgrade our forge to something a little bit stronger. So there's there's that too. Okay. Let's figure, let's figure out where he went. Yeah, we still got that, that big old gigantes. Actually, while we're at it. We should probably grab as many of these medicinal herb plants as we possibly can. Okay. There's a lot of food stuffs in here. I'm halfway tempted to make some food that heals as well, because we might as we might be able to do some stuff with that. But no dice. I actually really wish you could assign different townspeople to different things. Like, for example, um, you know, it turns out Glutamus is actually a really good cook. And you could, you know, adjust accordingly. Because that actually would be kind of a nice, uh, a nice way of handling things. Uh, just to, like, min-max resource gathering. Sadly, this game's not that deep. I really want to, I really want a, a town management game that is. A lot of people have told me to look into Dark Cloud. I never did, but uh, considering the amount of comments that I've gotten being like, the game you're describing is Dark Cloud, I might have to give it a go. The problem is, like, playing old games uh, is never something I'm particularly keen on doing. I like old games, but uh, they never do particularly well on my channel. Um, they, like, they kind of do, they can, but it's kind of one of those where it's like, people are very, very much used to the idea of me playing, um, you know, indie games, or weird games, if not indie ones. Oh, there he is. He just warped to me. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on a, uh, well, yeah, until we figure out what the hell this cave's about. Like, if there was a sign, I'd be down for it, but there's no sign, there's no nothing. Uh... It's not nighttime yet. Um... I guess let's go grab the, uh... Let's, let's go grab as many medicinal herbs as we can. Check out this igloo. Okay. Let's check out the igloo. Grab the snow blocks. I'm probably not going to be using it for anything apart from uh, the occasional nap to heal. But it is it is a uh, it is a serviceable dwelling for the time being. I'm also mostly just here for medicinal herbs. We got to go to the fire area, but I was thinking we'd pick up some mithril while we're here. And maybe do a little bit of exploration. Yellow! That's a thing. That's a... That is a thing. Oh, right. And since we've got Sizz shots, we can actually fight these guys. We got our first Frost Orb. Yeah, we can insta-get these dudes. Sadly, my accuracy is hot garbage. So that's a bit inconvenient, but whatever. Let's figure out let's figure out what's in here. This looks like uh this looks like a thing that I'd like to go for. I don't know if we're ever gonna use these columns, but that's okay. Here we get a wing. It's on the other side. 
Oh, it's the ladder that goes up. Unfortunately, I get the feeling the ladder that goes up... Like, we've got a prison here. You know that key that we got, uh, that Chick has? My bet is... That key goes here. At least that's the most obvious answer that I can think of. Anyway, come Glutamus. Let's let's just keep let's just keep running through here. I I could um, I could stay and fight and explore and whatever. Uh, but I'd rather do that with the entire hit squad. At least for hello. That's a big thing. Well, first starters, let's let's get all these bushes. I think these regrow, but I could be wrong. There's a giant bridge over there. Probably means we're going, uh, we're absolutely going there later, but you can't, I can't help myself but, uh, explore. Yeah, so that's like a big old prison-y thing-ish. Hard to say. Well, why don't we do this? Chances are I'm not, I'm not in too much danger. Most enemies are kind of benign. Or at least they don't chase you particularly actively. But I figure, let's... We've probably seen everything there is to see around that side. Let's go check this out. Okay. So we have a guard crew here. Ow. That knockback is rough. At least, uh, at least Glutamus, despite his cowardice, is a, uh, is a pretty good fighting companion. I'll give him that. Ah, crap. Wizard. Don't run from me. There we go. Okay, let's, let's keep going. If there's another group, I'm just heading back. It's not, it's not worth... Yeah, it's not worth fighting that group. Still, we've, we've done a fairly good job at, at, uh, completely bypassing. Or, not bypassing, but, uh, we've done a fairly good, uh, good job at progressing here. Okay... Glutamus leaves the party, and I think we're saving? Yeah, we're saving. Okay, so we've got... Oh, 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 ah, my controller fell asleep. I knew something was wrong. There we go. Okay, so... Did I... I probably don't have any more Yeti fur. Do we have enough beds for everybody? It looks like we do. Alright, yeah, we want to sleep just so I don't have to... Just so I don't have to think about... Uh... Oh, hello. Light shines in the darkness, images begin to form in dude's mind. I forgot, we have these, like, weird flashbacks. Lo, thou art fair indeed. Wilt, wilt thou sample a sensual puff puff for a mere twenty coins? Alack, tis a grave shame indeed. Still, tis only natural the hero of legend should be a virtuous sort of fellow. Should the urge ever come upon thee, thou needest only say the word. Okay, that was really weird. What is a puff puff, and why does it make me feel uncomfortable? Hast thou set foot upon the table, uh, the aisle to the south of this place? Th thou hast, but tis said that land is rife with beasts of incomparable ferocity. Mayhap thou art mightier, mightier than thou seemest. Ha! I jest, of course. I know well thou art the scion of Erdrick. There is none more mighty than thee. Legends tell of how mighty Erdrick did use the rain's bow as a bridge to reach the Forsaken Isle north and west of here. They also speak of how he did descend into the darkness through a hidden doorway in the throne room of his foe. In all her glorious wisdom, Almighty Rubus has chosen thee, Sir Blank, to be the one who will rid this world of the hated Dragonlord. It falls to thee to fulfill thy sacred duty, to vanquish the darkness and bring back the light. Seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was his own memory or somebody else's, dude can't remember. Alright. Feeling better. Now let's see. Uh, I guess we might as well eat the last of these. I can always make more of them. We've got some pancakes on our inventory. My setup is filling quick. 
I guess we should probably go make some more healing items before we go too far. Oh, that's gonna help a lot. Because, yeah, the uh, the more of these we have, the better off we're gonna be. No more chimera anythings. 